Hi guys, I'm so sorry. I literally like my phone just shut off and decided to do an update. So that was Source's way to interfere. <laughs> I'm gonna finish your guys' reading though because you guys had a pretty large stack of cards that still flew out that I was gonna read, but didn't get to last time. So the last card we were on uh, previously was this card. This is a communication card. It's blue. It's divine masculine. Um, he stands in his green garb here and gold, which is leadership, wealth, um, abundance, and heartfelt communication. He stands with the world in his hands, knowing that if he communicates um, warm-heartedly uh, and honorable and mature, that he holds the key to the world. Um, King of Autumn. Oh, goodness. Again, we have another Divine Masculine card. He's a king. This is green. His card is green. He also is wearing green and red. This is uh, the gold and red is um, like passionate communication that brings about like wealth or abundance or um, a fruitful situation as he's sitting around all of the grapes here. Fruitful situation. He's bringing forward his abundance. Um, loyalty here. The dog is being um, his protection, even though he and he doesn't even need to pay attention because this person or this. Uh, that's funny I said that this because the person that's coming forward in the collective reading is this is a person's energy of being loyal, uh, even whenever this person is not aware. Here, he's looking off somewhere else, but this dog is still alert. The crystal at the top of his staff indicates that um, he is aware of how to use the, the resources of the world to obtain like your like the king like the whole kingdom is at his fingertips because he's realized how for lack of a better word to manipulate the quantum field and to bring about manifestation but his his brain what he thinks about brings about um ten of spring five times two those numbers are coming forward or 25 um or two and five those numbers are synchronistic for somebody a uh, ten of spring five indicates change spring is of new beginnings when things start to blossom even though we were are in winter this phase in planetary alignment brings forward a spring forward of action or a catalyst of action she walks in blue communication delicate her dress is shredded like my communication is very very bad or shredded or PC or choppy um, she carries fruitful baskets and is followed by beautiful, um, light-hearted fairies. Ask others for help. All will all work and no play being weighed down with too many responsibilities. Um, she's trying to stay light-hearted and these fairies are trying to keep her that way, but she's tattered and it's getting heavy. She's being weighed down, um, and she needs to take a break. The phases of the moon bring clarity. Uh, we are releasing things right now as the crescent moon is getting smaller. Um, music for people, harp, uh, guitar, ukulele for some. <laughs> um, okay. This, for whatever reason, a powerful intuitive epiphany is letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation and seeing of uh, seeing truth uh, there is the word ego coming through in my mind very very large and bright bright red and white letters um that needs to be released through music or that needs to be released like in a creative way like interpretive dance or like writing a song or writing a a poem or becoming poetic or being poetic to someone expressing your feelings <laughs> that's amazing okay expressing your heartfelt feelings through like a love letter or uh, or music is what's happening here that's awesome okay um that's amazing for a large collective of you that's a beautiful thing coming for you how great 
seven of spring. Again, we have a spring card. Something is in action right now. Something is uh, about to blossom. Uh, she's wearing red also. This is passion, uh, your um, your heartfelt passion. But uh, she is not going to back down from something because she is so passionate about it. This is her, um, her heartfelt everything. And... Um, This gold plate here she has on her arm is like, it took her so many battles to have, if you can see it, her shield here and her armor here to even know that that was a, a like a soft spot she had or a vulnerable spot she had on her body to be um, possibly wounded in battle. How many times has she been wounded there to know she needs plate protection and armor there? Okay, um, this is her shooting hand, so of course it has to be steady. No injury will work there or else she may miss. And those are knowledge of enlightenment. Those arrows are bursts and lightning bolts of enlightenment that she's releasing to the masses. Seven is a sacred number. Seven days of the week, 777, 711, 117. clouds cotton candy comes forward for somebody or like a group I don't I don't know what that means but they had me say it so <laughs> um the full moon there was like some sort of manifestation or magic on the magical full moon of October 31st the veil was thinnest ace of summer one 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 summertime is magical brings um um Dream, summertime love, um, summertime happiness, uh, light, lightheartedness, um, unconditional love is this dove here. Open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a curtain one. Um, there is death in this situation, I feel, but the rebirth is so much stronger. Um, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. There is communication in the 5289D uh, with quite a few of the collective uh, twin flames um, comes forward on this card for heartfelt communication as well. Um, emotion as they are floating above the water here. Water is emotion. She's wearing blue. Her wings are green. That is heartfelt communication, transformative communication. Um, she is, uh, she is like is ascending with with this bird because it's like I can take off now and have my transform my transformative like I'm gonna fly home I'm gonna go south and fly home and be safe or something like that is making me feel like she's about ready to take off and lift and go somewhere safely. Um, the lion back here indicates that there is, um, this is a, a spirit animal and very, very strong for, um, like leading your pride, if you will, leading your group of people. Two of winter, two is coming forward. Winter right now is about to be here very soon. Again, musical instruments are being brought to attention. Um, she has musical instruments here. And making a choice here. Indecision is holding you back. Make a choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Um, this is like when he's looking at these, I feel like literally like I'm being peer pressured into something. Like uh, two and that's one divided like one, one, one and one is twin flames. Um, uh, like I'm being divided by something because I'm listening to outside influence or because I'm worried about what other people think or because I've been listening to people and now I see the truth of what's actually happening and what they're doing. Scorpio season brings forward truth and what people really don't have intended for you. So open your eyes to make sure you choose the correct instrument to go forward because if you choose the incorrect one, um, notice he has fire back here. One, you've known how to play for much longer and it makes more sense. It, it literally has wrote the music of your soul. The other one just adds to it, but it cannot really portray the depths of the chords and strings you wish to sing.
It's like if I make a choice, I have to burn the other one in this fire forever for all else. That's it. And there's two even here, like pillars, twin flames. Wow, that's intense. Okay. Um, they ha okay, um, the hermit. This is Virgo energy. Nine, three times three, 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 three. Uh, that's a that's a synchronistic number. That's a sacred number. Um, the star that she's holding here is indicative that she is. Um, this is her calling, like her servitude to others. She's holding the light because she has servitude to others. Like she's a guiding light because she is um, constantly giving servitude to others. Um, the hermit means going internal, recoiling, thinking about things, going inside. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. I feel like this is like the, this is the result of, since this is hermit Virgo, this is the result of something you've been working on since September. Or, and my Virgos are in a very um, <clears throat> serious like shift right now. That's coming forward. Uh, she's wearing pink and blue. So that's um, unconditional love communication. And um, her wings are down as if she's planning to stay. She's not taking off. She has the magic to do that and to go wherever she wishes. But she wants to be here and wants to settle here in her in her home, in her forest here. Um, hmm. Again, there's mountains back here. And um, waterfalls and little things that are creating crevices inside of the, the foundation. But ultimately, um, those mountains that she's climbed and surpassed, she knows she wants to be um, here now and where she wants to build her home. She stands here on this stump like, okay, we're going to start building my home here now. Okay. They're going to go back to the crystal cards and close out. Your guys' energy is very strong with um, uneasiness today. <laughs> I hope that this helps you. A lot of you are shifting with money, making money decisions, business decisions. Capricorn comes forward. Uh, money decisions made now will come to fruition by Capricorn season. Uh, winter solstice, December 21st is significant for some. December 19th today, the 19th, one month today 30 days within 30 days um great blessings come love money the flow of both abundantly um in six months time a lot of you a large collective of you uh my hermits um uh this is virgo capricorn uh leo sag aries this is um gemini this is also cancer uh this is a large move to a new home a very large income boost um a large lump sum of money or a shift um, all of those things and then a shift in what it is that you do with that money or a shift in what it is that you will now do as a profession because of that money or who you will be helping and how your life's path will change due to money somehow okay now ooh, okay well there they are <laughs> Wow, okay, I was going to shuffle some more and get them to go, but no, they decided now. My goodness, there's so many of them. Okay. Sorry, guys, I keep having to bend down and look down there. I apologize. Okay, so this has to do with your inner child. We are nurturing inner child energy right now. Um, fire. We need to burn what no longer serves us and is causing our... Our inner child is causing us to have um, external, like, toxic behaviors. We need, or self-fulfilling prophecies, or um, self-doubt, bad self-talk, um, self-sabotage. Hmm. Pride. There is pride involved in self-sabotage, or self-sabotage and pride somehow go together for a collective, and it shifts the situation once that's healed. Okay, purification black tourmaline. I actually have that on my person right now. This is um, for purification of energy for a large collective of um, people who are having night terrors right now because of Scorpio season. Have that around your bed. 
three of them, um, one on each side of your bed and one at the head of your bed so that it can create a trifecta of um, constant protection and a triangle of where your head is at so that whenever you're sleeping, it's um, being protected in that space by this purification, black tourmaline. tourmaline. Um, phases of the moon, again, uh, full moon, something here. This reminds me of full moon. Grounding as there is green behind this, the earth, this grounds me. I have these in my space to ground me. Um, initiation is what we just previously went through. And um, this is like the mid to end cycle for most to the large group of um, what we will be reaping in benefits for 2021 come summer uh come winter season i'm sorry come winter solstice winter solstice to summer solstice is constant non-stop blessings amazing again we have a pillar two twin flame this is three trifecta triangle three is three 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 times three nine uh nine 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 three 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 how they break down all down to three triangle um this is the strongest uh foundation in the universe three Amethyst, Divine Connection. Hmm. These two provide protection while you sleep for those of you experiencing the night terrors. Yes, it is. Um, that's the name of my business back there. You can text that number to get my cash up to book a to book a reading. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you for asking. That was a lot of you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Yes. I'll leave the link down below. Thank you. Okay. Um Evolution is coming after this initiation here. Because of a divine connection that has been had. And like a realization or like and you've healed the child within and a realization comes so that you can have evolution of self and live your highest and best self um, acceptance of your shadow self as this shadow self sits here trying to kind of keep you stuck but yet you've elevated so and notice that the color of this of this wing here is very similar to the color of this stone okay so um and this has water behind it as this is transformation and evolution of emotional acceptance and maturity and connection to source like I'm finally accepting that that's what I'm connecting to is source wind. There is nothing I can, there's nothing I can see, but I feel it. I don't see it, but I know I feel it. And I, I like the wind. I can't see it, but I can feel the wind. Just like love, you cannot see it. You only feel. And they are very, very chatty today. Holy moly, you guys have a ton of cards here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, taking action, carnelian. Go with the feeling, accept it for your own evolution and growth. Uh, this, this is very bold, but this has to do with um, this part right here, this rainbow has to do with acceptance and evolution and coming forward to live your true self and take action for some of you, the a large collective, like there's a lot of you that are struggling with like coming out to someone or like coming out to your family or this is like a, a a small group if that's the case and you ever need help with that or you're afraid to to do that please come contact me and I'm here for you uh, for guidance for that but this is these cards this specific card alignment is for that small group okay there's other um, information here that needs to be had magic with the full moon, um, full moon magic. Labradorite, let's see, black leadership. 
Protection, Obsidian, Black again, Leadership, Red, Passionate Leadership. Leading with uh, something because of a passion. Hmm. Notice this is a hole. This is depth, this is stars, this is the ethers, this is shadow self. This is reflective as if to show you what you need to see in the mirror, what's reflecting to you for your own protection to understand the magic of who you are. And you can protect yourself and be safe within yourself. That is not an outside entity. Fire again, fire. <laughs> wow, you guys, <laughs> that's crazy. Aries Leo Sag, that's fire ignition of passion. This is lava overflow. Um, this is like um, burning inside because I'm not saying something. Like literally burning my insides because I am not taking action. Like I, I've healed my inner child and now I need to take action. And I just, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm is grounding you need to get grounded on how to take the action you're asking about again look there's this hole with the ethers that matches this magic hole over here okay get grounded so that you can understand the magic of life and stop being jaded by other um They're literally like throwing me, sh like throwing shards of like opinions at me, like get grounded and stop thinking way off into things that are not meant for you and get grounded on your purpose is what they want you to do. That's what they're wanting you to do and find balance. You will find balance when you nurture the child within and find forgiveness for others as well as yourself uh, this forgiveness and balance comes with spontaneity you don't expect it it's coming or it already is and it's already struck you like lightning again we have Dark and light being balanced. Shadow self and light self being in perfect balance now. And we have spontaneity like um, celebration because something surprises us with good news. Fire, again, all of this is fire. Fire energy. Um, we have more fire energy here with the action card and actual fire energy. Like the element of fire is literally telling you you, whatever you are ignited about inside, you need to take action because there is a timeline for karma that is coming by planetary alignment. And this literally has to do with the life force of males. I cannot make that up. The fire energy here, fire energy is dominant male energy. And this is fire energy, life force. This is root chakra, ruby red healing in a completely separate deck about red and we were already discussing that here with the divine feminine cards those are red um we got a few red cards here so root chakra that just confirms everything we've been talking about the orange and red together are root and sacral chakra healing um calcite is important <clears throat> for a large group of males right now and pyrite to ground Grounding, uh, pyrite is grounding while you nurture your inner child. And find forgiveness for yourself and others. This is a transformation. A heartfelt transformation into spirituality as her wings are glittery and she is floating off into space here, into the universe. And she's busting out of this egg and being reborn, rebirth, magical rebirth. 
an alternate reality from what you thought was going to happen um, suddenly hits you again and sparks some sort of transformative passion in you and ignites some sort of fire. A spontaneous fire. These four leaf clovers, or they're not four leaf clovers, but they're making me feel like four leaf clovers are indicative of good luck, frolicking and good luck. Um, we've got this a few times in the um, twin flame pull the last two times, and this is talents, root chakra. This is root chakra protection here for some reason. Again, fire. Okay. And that deck is sealed. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for being with me today. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all of your interaction, all your questions, and all your messages. I hope this has helped you guys. Come and find me at my event live here in Denver at the Double Tree Hotel on December 12th. I cannot wait. You guys need to go get your tickets. Um, the link is on my page. I posted it on my story. Um, I'll keep doing advertisements and all of that throughout. But um you guys, your questions are amazing. I could not be here without all of you. So thank you so much. I am so humbled with all of your support. And I cannot wait to help save the masses. Come and see me for your healing, for all of your questions, your readings. Book me through my cash app. Come see me at my events. Bye, guys. I hope you have a good night.